Hi everyone, I hope everybody are doing good. In the last video, we discussed about the DevSecOps architecture and the list of the tools used on DevSecOps. And today video, we will be discussing about the tools called as Talisman. So Talisman is a pre-commit hook uh, tool and usually it get installed on the developer local machine and it used to find the vulnerabilities on local uh, laptop or desktop that where you have installed on, on it. So, you know, and in this video, we will see how this talisman will find the vulnerabilities and we will see the how to install the talisman on your machine and uh, and we will run the uh, pre-commit hook scanner to find the vulnerabilities. For that, we will we will have a uh, Python-based vulnerability scanner, a vulnerability code. So, it has, it has exposed some uh, sensitive information. So, we will use that. So stay tuned for this video until then and you'll find the what exactly mean by talisman and how you can uh, use a talisman to find the vulnerabilities and this is the tool is going to game change you for finding the vulnerabilities on local machine itself. So I'm just going to deep, I'm just going to explain you just a basic architectural diagram how does it really work. So consider this is one organization and here it is a developer and um, this is the developer local laptop or desktop whatever he or she use. And in this local laptop, he has a source code that he writes, and that source code has, uh, you know, it may have or may not have, a, you know, sensitive information exposed, or it may have, it may have, it may not have the vulnerability sort present in his local laptop. So for that reason, we need to uh, have a person to find out all this information, whether the developer source code have a vulnerability or not. So that's the reason. We need to install one pre-commit hook scanner on local machine of developers. So once you install it, you can specify and which phase you want to activate the scanner, whether it is in commit phase or whether it is in a push phase. So once you specify it and you can, uh, while you are pushing your source code from your local laptop or while you're committing your source code from your local laptop, this uh, pre-commit hook scanner, in our case, we are using Talisman, will activate and it will scan your entire source code and it will give a report how many vulnerabilities are present and what sensitive data has been um, you know has been exposed and that's the reason like you know we will use this alisman for finding the vulnerabilities and uh, this is the very amazing thing like you know you can you can find the vulnerabilities on your local machine itself and usually this finding the vulnerabilities happens on pipeline level or from the cyber security level so let's not wait or uh, let, let's not waste our time and let's dive into the uh, talisman and we'll discuss about how to install it and later and we'll 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 clone the vulnerable code which is written on python and we'll scan with the talisman so i'm going to talisman official uh, website so this is the talisman official website i will drop the link in description you can find this website url and um, Talisman is giving a future for global installation and single repo installation. Does that mean like, you know, if you have uh, a number of repositories are present in your GitHub or any kind of source code management, and you would like to activate this Talisman on all the repositories, you can select the global installation. If you don't want it, and if you want to specify this Talisman scanner only for a single repository, so we can use the second option. So in our case, let's use this Talisman scanner for all global installation. So once you click on this global installation, you will find the two options, which is uh, as a pre-commit hook and or a pre-push hook. So what does that mean? Usually while you are pushing a source code from your local laptop to source code management, uh, irrespective of a uh, tool like GitHub, GitLab, or uh, we have a number of tools are available in the market. So if before, you know, once you do the, you know, commit so what happened this scan will go and scan your entire source code if you are if you are using a pre-commit hook or if you are using a pre-push hook like you know when you when you when you give a command like you know get push it will go and scan all your source code and it will give the reports if if the scanner of talisman has not found any vulnerabilities you know your source code is free to push your uh, source code management what if found any vulnerabilities, like, you know, your push will get fail or your commit will fail and you can see the, um, you know, report of Talisman, what, what sensitive information or what all vulnerabilities are present in your uh, source code. So I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to run those comments. Like, you know, if you have run this comment, it will activate on both sides, which is on pre-commit and which is another one is a uh, pre-push hook. So my case, I will install the first for uh, pre-commit hook. So I'm just copied this command. 
and I'll go to my uh, Ubuntu, which I've installed on my Windows machine. I just paste it and I press enter. It will uh, it last some root level, uh, you know, uh, directories. So you can give it or you can just ignore it. It will automatically uh, take it. In my case, like, you know, I already installed Talisman uh, already installed. So it is showing that, which is Talisman template hook already installed. So in your case, it may not show because like you, know, you have, uh, since you are watching this video, means that you have not installed this talisman in a local laptop. Um, so what? Oh, I did copy that. So let me copy the pre push hook. I think uh, it will show the same response, which is already installed, but let's see. So I've just copied it and pasted it over here. Oh, it's also showing the talisman template hook was already installed. Yeah, like, you know, in my case, it is got already installed. That's why, uh, you know, it is showing the, the response. But in our case, you can run the both commands, uh, which is if you want to activate this talisman for your pre-commit hook, you can run this command. And uh, 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 and if you want to uh, if you want to activate the talisman for a pre-push hook, you can uh, use this the below script or command. So my case, like uh, it has already satisfied. Uh, let me clear the uh, screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clone this repository, which is available on GitHub, which is a, it is a public repository. I will drop the link of this repository in the video description. So you can see here, um, it's saying that uh, DVPW was uh, inspired by famous DVPW project and Bobby Babel. It's just a repository name. And the purpose of this project to implement the real world like uh, application Python was many vulnerabilities as possible while having a good design and intention. Which means the you know main use, main purpose of this repository, like you know, it is going to show you uh, how how vulnerabilities are uh, you know how vulnerabilities do get picked up and uh, how you can write the industry standard code. So as already mentioned in the description of this repository, saying it has some vulnerabilities. So what I will do, I'll just clone the repository. Uh, I'm just cloning it. But as per this diagram, like, you know, even if you can clone it from GitHub or from any other says, or you can write your source code by your bare hands. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's a both side. I'm, you know, since I'm, you know, I'm just referring one of the uh, vulnerable repository. So don't get confused because I mentioned in the earlier of this video saying that when developer writing the code, but it it, it may he's writing the code or he may refer any uh, you know branch in his organization which already have some updated code. So respect of it, like you know while we are writing the code, you do have some set of files and folders. But if you even if you clone the repository from other resources, it has the same one. So what I will do, I will clone this repository into my uh, Linux machine. So git clone. And I'm going to paste that repository. Oh, let me create the directory. Sorry, mkdir. I'm going to create the name of directories of vulnerable. So this is my directory name, and I'm going instead of the directory. And I'm printing list of the files. So currently we don't have any files or listed in this directory. So what I will do? I will clone this repository, which is a git clone command. Sorry and I pasted the URL, I press enter. So now it is getting cloned into my Linux machine. Fine, so it got, okay. So we have cloned the repository from the uh, um, GitHub, which is the DVPW, which has a vulnerability on this uh, Python code. So if I see LS, so I do have the DVPW web um, applications, which is written in Python. So what I will do, I will just add one random file, um, you know, just for making sure that we are in the track and, you know, and to make sure it is a git committed. For that, I just add nano and I'm going to create one uh, file name is a uh, uh, file dot py. And that I'm going to mention uh, print, sorry, print, and I'm going to mention hello. I just have mentioned the sample uh, Python source code. Uh, uh, Python code, sorry. So once I come back and uh, if I close the nano editor, if I see, we do have a uh, two, uh, one file which is written just with my uh, by me and another one which we have cloned. So if you see, uh, like you know, we need to initiate the Git again, so which is Git init. So we need to use this command for initializing Git. So oh, let me, yeah, it has initialized it. 
So let me clear the screen. And since we have uh, uh, added the one more file, let's see the git uh, status command. Status status command. So on branch master. So we need to add those two files. So for that, we need to uh, call the command git add dot. And oh, what went wrong? Why I'm getting this error? Yeah, it got added. So now I'm going to commit the code which I have uh, added uh, and which I have cloned. So for that, I'm going to check before that git uh, status command. So it is saying um, changes to be committed, which means like it's saying that, hey, you can commit your source code. So since we have installed the talisman on both sides, which is, um, you know, pre-commit hook and, you know, we have run this, uh, you know, um, th th this this command on our terminal of Linux and, you know, it got installed. What does that mean by mean? So if you have installed the pre-commit hook, whenever you run the uh, git commit, so the talisman will get called and it will scan all your source code and it will find is there any sensitive data has been exposed or is there any issues or is there any vulnerable are present. So for that, I'm going to commit my source code, which is git uh, commit and hyphen m. And I'm going to pass the message, which is uh, finding the vulnerabilities. So once I press the enter, so what it will do, it will call, first it will call the talisman, it will get scanned with uh, with talisman, enter your source code. So let's see what uh, changes will come with, with after enter. So if I press enter, if you see, uh, talisman scan has been initialized and, uh, oh, we have some invalid syntax, but leave about this missing and all. Since we have, we just want to see how the talisman get uh, activated uh, if you have installed talisman as a pre-commit hook. So if you see here, it is going to give us some talisman report, which is a dvpwf file. So it is going to specify which file we have. An expected file to not contain the hexagon code attached such as. So it's saying that, hey, you have some such sensitive information has been exposed and this is the severity of that. And, you know, it's giving, it's giving some description also, like, hey, if you are absolutely sure that you want to ignore the above file from the talisman detector, consider, the, you know, passing the following format in the talisman file in the object project room. Which means saying that, hey, if you want to, you know, ignore the above uh, file, which was picked uh, as a, you know, vulnerability. So it's saying that if you want to ignore it, just you can follow this below script, add the script and talisman will ignore your file. But that's not the good practice, right? Since we have found that this is a high CVT vulnerability. So usually what uh, developer do, they go and fix the vulnerability, which means they have exposed the sensitive information. So they have they may encode it or they may refer from any vault or usually that those that's all the best practices are in DevOps or DevSecOps. Okay. We have seen that like how Talisman do, uh, you know, find the vulnerabilities and it's going to scan all your uh, source code in local itself and it's going to give the report as it shows in the Talisman report. So since we have cloned the code from the GitHub and, you know, we have scanned our source code. So what I will do, I will create uh, one sample Python file or, uh, you know, I will expose some database username or password, or I will expose some uh, information, which is username and password, and I'll expose some tokens inside of the file. So let's see how Talisman will go and show the severity of the sensitive information is going exposed and how it is going to break the commit. And we'll see this in, uh, no, uh, in this video. So I'm going to create one file on the uh, name of uh, source.py. So I have created the file with a nan editor. So I'm going to use the uh, username is equal to source, and I'm going to uh, mention the password in this uh, file itself. So I'm going to add uh, both names, which is username and password. Let's see, like you know, password would be some random one, and I'm going to mention the token. So. It should not be mentioned in the source code, but for intentionally I'm mentioning in the source code to get knowledgeable how Talisman will go and pick the uh, sensitive information, get exposed and how it get notified to the developer. So since in this video, I'm the developer, I'm just writing the code and I'm I'm committing this code uh, to the GitHub. So I, it has to pick up the Talisman. So I'm randomly mentioning the token, uh, mention the token name. So, and I would like to save these changes, Control X, Y and Enter. So since uh, we have created the uh, source, oh, I 
mention the source uh, file name as a typo type error sorry for that so let's uh, add this file and and let's commit this file let's commit like you know, git commit hyphen m uh, added uh, source file with the credentials so i have added the source file with the credentials so if i press enter so what happened like you know talisman has to be activated and it has to scan all my source code like dvpw file.py and source.py and it has to find whatever sensitive information we have exposed so it has to find the sensitive information and it has to notify saying that hey this is not a good practice it could be vulnerable so attacker can take the advantage and you can hack your website by you know taking those username and passwords so that's a good practice like you know if you have integrated any uh, pre-commit hook uh, into your environment or pre-push hook so let's not waste our time and no let's uh, press enter so if i press enter if you see here you know we have the dvpw already we know that this is a sensitive information but if you see here source.py and it is saying that hey potential secret pattern and it's saying password has been um, exposed and you know it's saying that hey uh, this is a low cvt but you know it, it shouldn't be best practices and it is saying that if you want to ignore this file um to be um uh, if you want to ignore this file and if you want to ignore this uh, um a cvit and if you want to add this file into your github repository follow the below syntax so you can add this syntax into this particular config and you can get ignored this particular uh, you know um, notification or you could see or whatever um, you know cvit is showing from the talisman report so this is how guys like you know you can um, uh, you can use a talisman for scanning or source code This are in DevOps or DevSecOps. So this is how, guys. Like you know, you can use a talisman as a, a pre-commit hook and you know pre-push hook. Um, you know, you can find the vulnerabilities on on developer local laptop itself because it is a good practice to maintain a vulnerable free environment, even if it is not pushing uh, pushing to the GitHub. So, so if you found any vulnerabilities, like you know, developer get notified and you can fi fix it. And this is how you can you can keep your infrastructure most san sanitized from uh, vulnerabilities. So this is the this is the just uh, you know introduction about Talisman. And the coming section will discuss about how we can integrate this Talisman uh, and how we can integrate the SaaS tools, DAS tools, and image scanner into the CI/CD pipeline. So until then, thanks for watching this video. Uh, do subscribe and um, hit the like button and uh, comment your uh, give a comment your own comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day and great night.